Hello and welcome to Wine Chats with Bil- with who? Bildo <laughs> and Lindalyn. My name is Billy Milovanovich, also known as Bildo. My mic arm's too far. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay we is are, having problems. I'm having a day. Um, look, if my sound's off, too bad. It, yep. Okay. Hi. Oh, my. Oh, should we? My name's Lindsay Kirkwood. I mean, Linda Lynn, also known as Lindsay Kirkwood. Great. It's going to be a rusty start, people. Hi, okay. Lenny. This Hi. is an offensively funny podcast about drinking wine and chatting life. And today, I'm, I'm a bit excited about this episode, if only because Lindsay said, you don't have to prepare anything. I mm-hmm. just have to be here to look pretty and smile. My favorite. So, um, Lindsay, wipe, what are we talking about today? Can you wipe the lipstick off your teeth for you to look Is pretty? it really on my teeth? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. no. Already. No, I, yeah. Oh, now you're super pretty. And now I'm all oh, my teeth pink. How I just no, spread it around. No, no. Oh, that's good. No, it is a lovely, pretty um, color. You, This must be a new color. This, no, it's yeah. not. Oh. It's actually um, a Kate Moss, um, Rimmel, um, one of those yeah. little collaborations. And nice. I hate it on me. I think it's like too bright and candy-like. Right. Um, oh, but cute. I mean, it's a bit different, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, candy-like. <gasps> speaking of. Speaking of. I came across this post about how many types of orgasms women can have. And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't get it. Like, and yeah, <laughs> two. Yeah. Good and bad. Oh, bad. Exactly. That was like your response to my message. I was like, what do you mean that yeah. there's like 12 different yeah. ways for a female to have an orgasm? Yeah. So that's what this episode is going to be about. Going over those 12 orgasms. Yeah. Blissful yes. things. And hoping that maybe we can bring you there. Oh no, that's weird. Not bring you there, but like make you aware of it. So maybe you can try and achieve it. Um, shout out to Love Honey, um, who, uh, whose post it was. Yeah, I know some of the Love Honey people. So hey, maybe they can sponsor us by last time they sponsored. Hey, that's hey, it. they sponsored She's something. She's got a bodysuit on. She's I, I do have today. a bodysuit on. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I've I've had some dealings with Love Honey before, and they sent us dildos and stuff. So maybe they'll. What I'm saying is, we can uh-huh. team up, and you guys can get a dildo to try out your new orgasms. So we should drink because this is just getting awkward now. This is, awkward. Like, Let's, uh, this is one of those moments where I just let Billy keep talking and like she just says. More and more awkward things. I know. Do you want me to try and fix you, fix your microphone up while you? Why? No, your microphone. Oh, you're I'm dill. like, what's wrong with my hair? F- uh, well, no, I think. Uh, look, it, it'll be fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Um, you can get me your glass, though. Oh, God, do I have to do everything? Let's do it. We. So I'm a bit PMSy today. So I'm like. <laughs> You don't say. <laughs> yeah, I was. I had a moment with my fan remote. It pissed me off. Um, so I picked a wine that I really wanted to have. Cab Sav from Eight at the Gate. Like these sisters are amazing. We've met them. Well, actually, well, we no, one. we only met Jane because the other one, yeah, you're known as the other one, was too busy. I Claire, we love away. you. We yeah, want, she was yes. like busy with work. Well, I stuff. think she was busy with li- yeah, yeah, like life, yeah. you know. Um, if you have not tried them, is seriously try them. Their wines are amazing. They are amazing. We love them. They even had a feature in stands <coughs> like a wolf. Wolf, what's that show with Isla <gasps> oh, Fisher in it? Yeah. Isla uh, Fisher and Josh Gad. I could not like contain myself when I saw their bottle of wine being featured in that show. Which Wolf Like Me? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A amazing show. You should all go and watch it. It's on yep. Stan. Um but, but like B their wine, isn't it? I was so stoked for them. I watched that show before you and I did not even yes. see Eight at the Gate. Um, oh, so you, you missed said, it, yes. Yeah, I, I totally did. So sorry, girls. Um, but that show was so freaking weird. But how cool. Oh, that. I love it. I can't wait for season two. I don't know yeah. when it's coming out, but hopefully soon. Now, Lindsay keeps trying to put the bottle of wine up here and it keeps <laughs> falling over. So today, I mean. It hasn't in the past. I don't know why today is different. Actually, I do know why because I'm PMSing and nothing is working. Even this pillow behind me, like it's annoying me. How much do you love talking about orgasms while you're PMSing? <sighs> God, ew. Gross. <laughs> I'm not touching my husband. And he is not touching me. Ew. He makes me <gasps> angry. Okay. Um, now I... Oh, you're swirling. Well, I, Careful. I feel like we didn't aerate it. There's no... Oh. We didn't even open the bottle and let it like Air. breathe a little bit. So yeah. I just feel like we need to give oh this the respect God. it deserves. I'll just be sitting over here waiting. Okay, my wine already. is going to be so much tastier oh than yours, God. clearly. Your wine is an, going to end up all over my couch the way you were Not my problem. That. Plus, okay. I've seen you do, um, you know, take stains off this couch before, so I'm confident in your abilities. Mm-hmm. Anyway, okay, go. Ooh, it's solid what a cheers. cheers. <laughs> I haven't had a cab sav in a while, and that went right up my nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> it violated like my nostrils. Well, at it's first, because you didn't let him breathe. I exactly, probably, one hundred percent, exactly right. Um, 
Well, it attacked my nostrils, not in a good way, but the taste, oh my God. This was like heaven mm-hmm. in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Like so smooth, so mm. beautiful. I just right up my alley right now. I just took a big gulp. I get chocolate. I get so much chocolate out of this one. I have no idea if that's mm. a thing in this one, but oh my God, it's good. Now that you say it, I feel it too. I get it too, you guys. I get it yeah, too. Do you? I do. I love it. It's so smooth. It's mm-hmm. so beautiful. Cab Sav 2019. 2019, again, you guys, it's four years oh. old. Like that's a long what? time for that wine to be in that bottle so i'm just saying like i always get really impressed <laughs> when somebody gives me old wine like, oh, you know, aged uh-huh. wine yeah uh-huh. those four years have vintage. done wonders for it Vint- well yeah. but is it <laughs> well it's a the vintage is 2019 can oh, we is move that, on is that how they say it like the vintage because it you can't have a 2020 vintage can you I just thought the vintage was the year. I feel like vintage is something really old. Anyway, go on. We should really <laughs> know <not>. this. <laughs> Considering we've been doing this podcast for four years. It's not a podcast about wine, uh, you guys. No, it's, it's not. not. You know, yeah. But if it were, this wine is freaking delicious. Eight at the gate. Go try them. Love them. Like, it's, it's seriously. Yes. Divine. Um, what's divine? Orgasming. Not only that, but that there is like 12 different orgasm types. Yes. That a female can have excuse me phone we are talking i'm not going to give away uh-huh i, I don't know much you, so there's not much for me to give no. away but i mean i'm assuming i can think of at least i honestly only thought there was three ways uh-huh i'm sure we'll talk about it so i'm not going to give any away but i i this is like the three main ways i can think of go I do you want to take well First, let me give a fun little fact, Billy. Okay, okay go. About seven in 10 women may achieve as many as, how many orgasms during sex do you think? Just take a guess. Wait, on average, did you say? Uh, well, I don't know if it's on average, but seven in 10 women may uh-huh. achieve as many as X amount of orgasms. I can't see any woman having more than four at best, 20. <laughs> Are they still alive? But like, no, but there must be then tiny orgasms. They can't be these like explosive ones. Why can't they? I don't Sh- know. I don't know because surely I feel like you'd run out after a while. Is there something, it's not, is it like, do you run out of fluid after all that? I don't know. Is stuff coming out even? Are we just contracting? You would be so sore and tired. I would be dead. The, like, I honestly don't know how somebody's body can do that. But apparently about seven, seven in, ten. in 10 women. Who? We are oh, the- Oh, I think they're talking about annually. <laughs> oh. Don't make me laugh. I still have a bit of cough. Don't make me laugh. Oh my God. How? <laughs> Come on. Now. Right? Right, I read it wrong. Jesus. I, I like, just yes. didn't, Right? Are you being serious? Do you think that it is that? No. Oh, right, I'm like, I'm okay, to- I, for real. Because I honestly, like in one session- Yes. 20? Apparently. They, I don't know who wrote that, but they, they're clearly- Honestly, the most, honestly, the most I've ever had, are you about to say it? Are you about to go there? No, I was about to say a man did that study because you know how we fake oh, orgasms well, all the time? Exactly. <laughs> you were like, wow. Bro, she was lying got, to yeah. you. I just got her off 20 times. Oh, oh there's why, another one. Why am I talking oh, like a yeah, why? boy? Like a, <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, yeah, okay. A man did the study. We all uh-huh. know it's co- completely it's right. incorrect. It, it, yeah, I can hand on heart say the most uh-huh. I've ever had three. Oh no, I've never done that. No, but three see, in it, one session. No, I no. and they weren't like hugely explosive ones. All of them, they were see, explosive, exactly. but they were like ones where. I you feel like you could keep going. And exactly. And you have like a definitive one where it's like. And then yes. there's a definitive one, yeah. which is like, get the fuck away from me. You are done here. Yeah. I don't care like what you're you still doing. Like do stop by touching yourself. me. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. Oh, I think I would have only had two max. Like, and it's definitely not every time. Like, it's like one of those like, no. oh, wait. Oh, that, that, that's really good. But yeah, no, that was keep a good going. start. Yeah. Yes. But like, that's it. So that's what I'm saying. Like with the 20, I have this feeling it would know. be. Oh, God. But like you said, if it was a man doing the study, <coughs> she was lying. She was yeah, faking. faking. That's why we're 100%. masters. If you are a woman who has experienced 20 in one session, because apparently there's seven out of 10 of us, please let us know. I would love to know. I think that's a typo. It's got to be a typo. Or right. wrong. Okay. So I thought, well, what about the men? Because you know, like if it, you think, well, there's just one, right? Like yeah. when it comes, like that's it. No. So 
The orgasm is the part that happens between two and seven seconds before ejaculation. So the guy coming isn't the actual orgasm, which I actually thought was quite interesting. Now, are you able to come without ejaculating? No, coming is ejaculating. Oh, uh, well, you're saying coming orgasming? Because they can orgasm without, without ejaculating. ejaculating. Is that what I said? But when no, you say, say coming, coming... Oh, no, sorry. I misspoke. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I meant, can you orgasm without ejaculating? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So the orgasm I'm for... I'm a fucking scientist, you guys. Kind of. Not really. Because you mixed up coming and orgasming. But so whatever. Um, yeah. So the orgasm is the part that happens before the guy comes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Sorry, I had to drink. So it's not certain exactly how many O's a guy can have before he comes did a man do that study too he can figure know. himself probably out the same but study yeah but a study found that <laughs> men can have three orgasms so not coming okay three orgasms in 10 minutes i mean that makes but not sense coming so yeah. i don't understand i'm so <gasps> well no they would orgasm yeah. like oh that feels good yeah like three <laughs> different quite, times yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. comes out of the end of their penis okay and then they come billy why is this so hard for you to understand <laughs> I feel like you probably feel the same. I feel like we need a diagram. I need you. I need you to ex- to draw me a picture of what happens during the moments where the man is orgasming but not ejaculating. Do you know who I feel like right now? <laughs> David off a of Shit's Creek talking to Alexis. That is what I feel like right now. Where I he's love like, Alexis. so you are not okay. offending me at all. Okay. Yeah, not at all. I love you to bits. Okay, can we move on from that? Because okay, that let's was, go. Let's go into the list because yeah, a lot of them are. Like the ones that you would think of, right? Yes. <coughs> Come on, me, 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 me. Uh, oh, God, give it to sorry, me. Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. I have. Give it to me, Lindsay. Ew. Not Gross. the frog in your throat. No. Okay, so obviously a clitoral orgasm, right? Of course. Like play with tick. your clit. Yeah, tick. That's yep. a, that I would assume was one of your three. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, a G spot orgasm. Yeah. Number two. Fine. Yep. Okay. You got to go number two. Poop nope. Poop. <laughs> nope. Okay. That probably has something to do with orgasming, but no. Ew, no, that's a fetish thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A blended orgasm. So this makes sense, right? Okay. So, so like clitoral and G-spot? Oh, well, yeah. When multiple areas of your body are being touched and pleasured simultaneously. So yeah, like if you like your butthole tickled and your clit played with and you come, then you're... But is that a type of orgasm? That's not fair. I feel like that's still a... Well, Billy... The, this is love, love honey. honey. So a blend, do you need me to read it again? Today is not the again, day. Again, I need a diagram. Oh I think God. if we had a diagram, <laughs> do you think do, it would move things along a little bit? Do you better? want me to point to my clit and my asshole and show you like if you touch both of them? I like, thought you would never ask. Jesus uh, Christ. Absolutely. Christ. Only fans, here we come. This is not can the they, way. Look, they could probably even see up they my They probably bits, can. So they probably can. Apologies. bodysuit. For those. And, oh, uh-huh. well, that's true. I have a bodysuit, so it's, it's fine. It's fine. Keep going. This episode is not turning. I don't know about this blended <laughs> orgasm business, but go on. I mean, you can't keep blending things. It's like, oh, if you have a clitoral and a G spot, there's one. No, if you have a- it's not necessarily different two types of mm. orgasms. It's when multiple areas of your body are being touched and pleasured at the same time. So if you're into so your like nose being tickled, are, yep, exactly, yep. just two different okay. body parts. Okay. Oh, God, shit. this is going to confuse the fuck out of you. <laughs> Jesus, here we go. Multiple orgasms. <laughs> now, listen carefully, Billy. Multiple orgasms can be either sequential, when you orgasm, rest, and then orgasm again, or serial, one <laughs> orgasm after another with no rest in between. Oh, that God. would okay, kill well, you. That is a different type of orgasm. Right? I, yeah, I've never experienced that. Me neither. No, I mean, what does that even feel? I wouldn't even know what that feels like. How do you even make that happen? I, I, good Like question. you come and then uh, does it keep going and then you just keep coming? I don't, just, it, oh, look, it, I don't understand. It scares me. I don't know. It scares me. Right? I don't know why it scares me. I don't want any part of that. I I was just going to say, I don't want to figure out what it feels like, okay? No, thank you. I'm just not that girl. I'm not that girl. I do have a three-day houseboat trip coming up. I can probably test some of these things out for you guys. Report back to us and show us video footage so we can follow along. Because clearly, obviously, Lindsay wasn't prepared for this episode. I will bring the diagrams, okay? Who needs When I come back, use your brain. My brain needs diagrams. Okay. Get ready for this one, Billy. Are you switched on? Send this, me. yeah, this is probably your third one. It's an easy one. The anal orgasm. Okay, yeah, I get that. Oh, I didn't think of that. That was not my oh. third one. That well, was not my third one. What's your third one? Well, maybe keep going. Do oh. I need to, like, I don't want to give okay. you a list away. This is a crazy one. 
Crazy as in, I didn't think or know that this was a thing. Okay. It's called a sleepgasm, a.k.a. snorgasm. So not, when I first read this, I don't know if your thoughts are going to where my <laughs> mind went. I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, so like, say I'm sleeping and Cameron has sex with me when I'm sleeping and I come? Like, is that a, like, I, I was thinking of like someone having sex with me when I'm that's sleeping. That's rape or something. Oh, um, I didn't want to say that word. Yeah, sorry. Um, Billy went there so, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's if you're sleeping and somebody's doing it with you. I know. I orgasming. didn't want to say that word. I would think before you read that uh-huh. out, I would think that it is like a wet dream. Like you're, you're dreaming and sleeping, like you're sleeping yeah, and having exactly. a dream, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. I feel like I've had those. Okay. So your brain is switched on now. Good. Oh, it's always here. I just, I'm not good at like Limited. listening, processing okay. and retaining information and then responding to it very well. But I think I have had, I don't know if I've come per se, like orgasm, yeah. but I've definitely, you know, when you have like really like intense dreams. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like sometimes I, I don't know. Have Maybe you woken have. up with wet panties or sheets or anything? No. No, me neither. No. But I have had But dreams. I've had good, yeah. Yes, where you're like, ooh, that feels good. And then you yes. wake up and you're like, oh. And then that was exhausted. And then my husband doesn't actually get to have oh. sex with me because I already had sex with him in my, in my sleep. So then with it's like, oh, well, that's else. good. <laughs> with you, Someone. Henry, always with you. <laughs> Uh-huh. That's not what she tells me. Okay, so that's or any of us. Yeah. Oh, awkward. Um, okay, so this is it's called a cervical orgasm. Okay. I have not heard of this. Don't know. I'm gonna read this because I'm like, huh? So this is one of the most powerful orgasms a woman can have. Stop it. Teach us. Give us a diagram. Where is it? On Google. <laughs> Look for it later. <laughs> Sometimes known as the full body orgasm because of the way it washes over you from head to toe. Oh, the girl. cervical orgasm is best achieved via deep vaginal penetration. No, I am sorry. I don't like being pounded like that. <laughs> I don't. It hurts. It is not pleasurable. I'm sorry. Where no. in that did you read that you had to be pounded? Deep vaginal penetration. Deep vaginal penetration pounded. could be, is deep vaginal. Pe- Nobody said you had to be pounded to get your cervical. So for <laughs> all of you I listening, read. do not take <laughs> medical advice from this crazy person. You do not need to be pounded. Although I, I mean, pounding is good when it's, it's got a time and a place, but not, I don't think you need to do that. I would think you can go low and slow and just hit, get, get it in there. Sex parent. Real deep. Sex Paratists, sex therapists, sex pets. suggest warming up with a few different positions beforehand and doing it doggy style to get as deep as possible. <gasps> right. Okay. Oh, so thank I, you for that tip. Okay. Okay. So maybe it's not pound town pounding, but it's still pounding as in like it is deep touching all of your organs and it hurts. I love you. I love this. This is amazing. Um, should we go to a break before we... We should, because we're at number eight. And like, Billy, I just don't have the brain space to explain number eight to you yet. I need a break. Oh, we need a break. Okay, we're going to go to a short break and then Lindsay will explain number eight to us. <laughs> the excitement. And we're back. The way you slid right in, Billy. I know. Did I slip in? Yeah. <laughs> Too far, Billy. Is it? I feel like I anything goes know. in this, uh, this episode. We also got a new stand for our wine, as you'll see. See? It's so not so dangerous for us to... Where do I put my elbow now? God. <laughs> Number eight, Billy. Welcome back. your elbow. <laughs> Let's do <laughs> <Right>? it. <laughs> Are you spot orgasm? Okay. There's a G spot, obviously. Uh-huh. Why do they call them not like letters? Couldn't it be like they could have given us pretty like pretty, like butterfly spot or something? But okay, a U spot. What is it? If it's Take a, a U, guess. yep. Something is U shaped. What is U shaped inside of you? No, that's not it. Go a different way. Because that G spot, uterus, is it? uterus, uterus spot. No, uterus gasm. Okay, urethra. Oh, where's that? Is that your butt? No. <laughs> Where is your, oh no, that's the other one. That's the P. Oh, you should be we are not so scientists. Not, don't say we. No, no, we no. Are take, not scientists. Take me out of there. Oh my lord. <coughs> oh my god. 
I am so sorry, even May, that your mother at the age of 37 still doesn't know. I know, don't ask me know. things about your body, kids. Ask the, kid, <gasps> ask the teachers at school, okay? Again, I'm a teacher aid, people. Do you know that I'm teaching your kids things? Oh, my Okay, God. are you gasm? <laughs> The urethra isn't just for peeing. Please Billy. do not put your penis up there. That is not what's happening right now. No, no, no. It's the now. This is this will be interesting to you because just listen. It is around, but oh, who cares where it's surrounded? We know. So when your your urethra, not is, your butt. No, 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 is stimulated, blood rushes to the erectile tissue that surrounds the opening, and this can result in ejaculation or squirting <gasps> yes right. so that's how you squirt okay read that back again so we can that, find out how to squirt i knew you, this is why i knew you'd like this good so what good so when your urethra is stimulated blood rushes to the erectile tissue that erectile yeah erectile tissue that <laughs> surrounds the opening and this can result in ejaculation or squirting so what part do we have to be rubbing i don't understand where your Ure- pee comes out of well, first I have to find that hole. Oh, God, Jesus. Lord, help us. Lord, help Henry. Oh, help your daughters. Help May and Eve. Eva May, I'm looking at you through the camera. Just come and ask Auntie Lindsay. But Just honestly. come and ask me. How many uh-huh. of us right now are like, if we only had a diagram, <laughs> <laughs> this would all be so much easier? Yes, Billy. I'm going to be nice. Yes, you were right. If I had a diagram behind us of the vagina and all the bits and bobs near it, I guess I could probably edit that in. I probably won't. But I mean, Uh should I be putting up giant vaginas? Um, No, because most people know where the urethra is. But not true. Maybe not. If I don't know it, there's others that don't. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Now you know. Um, but it can, oh, oh, but careful. It can also be very prone to infection and sometimes injury. So do your research before you start trying for this kind of orgasm. I've wanted to do a sex accidents episode for a really long time because I have this yes. one example of an accident where a little vibrator. Yeah. You remember that? But yes. I don't know if I should give it away. Yeah. Well, you've told I mean, us it's the before. One, have I? Where yeah. the one, like the little vibrator ended up going up the urethra. And yeah. She couldn't, like she had to go to hospital and get it taken out. But like the story is hilarious. Yeah. Hilariously so traumatizing. It, traumatizing. Yeah. I, I, I didn't think it was that big, to be honest. I don't know how that's possible. Like, I, I really don't. Don't put anything up there, you guys. I, I honestly don't understand. I need a diagram. But does that mean that- No, I need a diagram. <laughs> if only you had one prepared earlier, Lindsay. Right? I don't understand. So every time that you squirt, it must be like a U, U spot. A U spot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. that must be then anytime anybody squirted. Okay. 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 I thought you I'd find like that it. interesting. I do find that interesting. Thank yeah. you, Lindsay. Okay. Get ready for the alphabet. Here's so an ready. A spot orgasm. What? Okay. I know. I don't. Okay. Okay. Anus. Anus. You would think. I but shouldn't it's be yelling not. that out. In a- yeah. <laughs> Apologies for anybody who had their windows <laughs> open and uh, are listening to this right now. I don't even know how to pronounce these words. Okay. The anterior fornix erogenous zone. Okay. It's the second G spot. Okay. It is located. Now, I need a diagram for this one. It is located above the cervix in the region closer to the belly button. How big a dick do you need? That's like pounding that's the deep maybe that's like the deep penetration one and this go hand in hand i don't know <laughs> it's after it's best reached after considerable foreplay <laughs> has taken place and with a generous amount of lube what the fuck where are you trying to get to it's well it's your fucking all the cervix. way up there it's do you not know where your cervix is another diagram okay would have been uh-huh. so good Okay, I'm sorry, but you need uh, yeah, you need a ladder and uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> you need yeah, you need to take your time before trying this orgasm. Okay, slow and steady. So this is not a quiche. You do not do a quickie. <laughs> For those of you who don't understand what the fuck I just said, a quiche is a quickie. A lasagna is a uh-huh. long sesh. <laughs> yes, you cannot be doing it in a quiche. <gasps> no. Okay. Lots of lube and preheat that oven for a very long time. Okay. This one is, I, this boggled my brain. Why are you laughing? I don't know. I'm, oh, I cannot wait I to see. Did I say something funny? Oh my God. The, your excitement. Right. Like I want to see oh, what it yes. is that boggled you your brain. move your feet, no, please? Lindsay, Lindsay, God, please. I need to stretch out my old lady leg. 
Oh, orgasms. Okay. Ew, is that like prick or leg orgasm? Um, it there? is a little bit. Yeah. I'm a little bit surprised. You say you shave your legs all the time. What no, happened? I meant your <laughs> leg. <laughs> um, you, you, that's to be expected. So Gross. Only fans, this? call us. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> Core-gasm. What did I read today about this? I don't know. Do you even know what it is? Because I had no idea. I honestly read about this just today. Uh huh. Go on, tell us. No, no. I want to explain. It's something to do with your abs, obviously, and I think it's almost like whether you're contracting or something while you're having sex, you got to contract or well, like squeeze something. That's called your pelvic floor, apparently. <laughs> Not that bit, <laughs> but up the core, like where the core is, the middle of no. your body, right? Um, you might have been reading something a little bit different, but maybe same, same. So this, <laughs> if you have ever needed more motivation to exercise, corgasms. So it is an exercise-induced orgasm. Oh, no, 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 no. As, I, uh, I hate exercising. Right. Oh, oh. Um, it's literally orgasms that tend to occur when you are working your core muscles so I'm sorry Sarah why didn't you right we did one workout with uh-huh. you mm-hmm. where was our corgasm mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. it will begin somewhere around your ab- abdominals and can happen during or shortly after exercise I don't know what would be more fucking mortifying like I'm just picturing <laughs> calm down over there Billy <laughs> I just had the picture as well. It never occurred to me that it would happen in public because if you're exercising. And you're not fucking doing your sit-ups on your bed. Oh, I just think of myself on the reformer Pilates bed doing like our feet in straps, core stuff and having an orgasm going, oh, sorry, Kath. Just don't mind me over here. A little what? flushed over here, Kath. Like what do you, really? I love that. I, 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 I would, I've done a lot of ab exercise exercises wow <laughs> I've done a lot of uh-huh. ab exercises and I've not once come during it I think more people if it led to orgasming I feel like a lot more women would be doing it do you think I oh, feel like I don't know because like I, I find it mortifying to be I don't want to be exercising someplace Lizzie, you do it at home oh, well, if, yeah, do you know what home, I mean like how much easier like, would it be to do ab exercises and come as opposed to just masturbating I'll just masturbate by ex- like exercising well, I guess, but what I mean, you, mean? It's a you don't lot have to effort. get naked. You don't have any lube. All you have to do is do like a few like butt squeezes, you know, these ones, or like do no, a few crunches, and there you no. are, Bugs your oh uncle. Oh my god! Okay, two and one. I need a diagram, Billy. <laughs> I need a diagram. Um. Okay. Well, I'll keep you posted if I ever have one. Please do, because you exercise more than I do. Oh well, I mean, I do Pilates, but like, come on, that I just find it weird. Also, um, there's. I'm oh, sorry, but I just no, have so go. much about this. I feel like yes. there could be whole classes. Like, if there are Pilates places out there, for the love of God, start an orgasm. Yes, session. But would it become? This is a stupid statement. Would it become sexual? Like you know how there's naked yoga. Yes, which is totally non-sexual. Would an a, a, what is it? A, a, a abdominal? What's it called? Corgasm. Corgasm. Would it? Story. Sorry, I know. Would a corgasm class be sexual, or would it just be for you to? No, be it should be sexual. It piece. should be with yeah. your. It should be like a sexual energy class. You don't have to touch anybody else. Nobody's saying like you yeah, got to like yeah. put your fingers yeah. anywhere. I'm yeah. just saying, you could each be on your own reformers. There is a market out there. Women who have not orgasmed in years would probably love that. Or maybe they haven't orgasmed in years for a reason. I just feel like we got a new business idea. Anyway, okay. well, we will draw you a diagram. Um, now there is one more. <clears throat> I can't believe the thing that uh, the most basic thing hasn't come up yet. Well, maybe but this I is ha- it. Yeah, okay. Maybe I left this one for the last because this was about the post that I saw in Love Honey okay. AU that made me think of this episode. Um. A nipple orgasm. That, yes. Yeah. That, yes. Yeah. Uh, that, yes. Yes. Uh, that, yes. 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 I was going to say that. Nipple orgasm. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh my God. Nipple Duh. orgasm. Yes. But that, Are you a, orgasming? That, uh, right right now. now. Just a little. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh. The, the, the holy mm. trinity, right? Like mm. the G spot, the clitoris, mm. and then the nipples. I can't believe it's so far down on the list. Yes. But when they say that, they mean just orgasming. By your nipples being touched. Nothing else is being touched. Yes. Just your boobies. Your yes. nipples. Have you ever come just no. having your nipples? Oh, <laughs> calm no. down. I didn't even finish my question. No. But uh, I, I've heard it can happen. Yes. So, I mean, it's self-explanatory. We don't need to explain it. But I have, just in case, because, I mean, I like a lot of 
other women, like my nipples being played with, oh, right? Course. Who doesn't? Yeah. So it's just a little, little, a few tips for you if you wanted to take it to the next level. Yes, please. I don't know if you do after Ready. this, but maybe. <laughs> so it turns out that breast and nipple play lights up the blah, blah, blah. Who the fuck cares? Okay. So having your boobs fondled, massaged, or sucked, the list goes on, triggers, yes. Anything else, Lindsay? Bitten? Uh, well, no, I have not. Pulled? Calm down. Well, know. yes, all of that, Billy. Like, it, <laughs> it triggers the release of oxytocin. Okay. okay. I got my lab coat on. I'm telling you the scientific <laughs> names. Um, If you want to have a nipple orgasm, edging is the key. Edging. edging. Ooh, take Annoys me there, me. pull me back. Take I me there, hate pull it me back. so much. It just sounds frustrating. It's me, very right? frustrating. So, first, massage the area around your breast, torso, and tummy. Ew, don't touch my gut roll to tease yourself and encourage circulation around your chest. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, is this to masturbate or for somebody else no, to do this? This is, well, either or. Be or yeah, either yeah. or. Because I'm going to go to my list because the Love Honey list is so much better, which is my list. Right. The one I was just reading was the article. Um, one moment, please. Okay, here it is. Uno so, momento. Nipple O tips. Use a bullet vibrator. So you know like the yes. itty bitty little little guys? In the shape of a bullet. Yes, good. Diagram? Di- no, none, no? none necessary. If you know what a bullet looks like, you're good. Oh, thank God. Great. So like, you know, buzz it around those okay, areas. Yeah. Thingies. Uh-huh. Um, and now you can use all of these or just one of them. Mix it up. Don't know. It's up to you. A feather tickler. Like, I mean, I've heard of a French tickler, like for your hoo-hoo, but like not for your nipple. Yes, but you I just need a feather. Yeah. I mean, I guess it makes sense. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't think yeah. of it being used on your nipples, yeah. but I mean, yeah. I guess, right? <laughs> nipple suckers. Now, not Henry Cameron's lips, <laughs> mouths on her nipples. <gasps> I call them my husband. Right, yeah. right, my husband's lips. <laughs> There's like these little silicon thingies that suck on your like you put them on your nipple no, and they no. suck on not your nipple. Not since I've done, not since I've done like breastfeeding and uh-huh. the b- breast pumping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After breast pumping, mm-hmm. that shit is confusing, man. It's confusing how you feel when you're having your breast milk pumped. Oh. Yeah. And so now the idea yeah. of having it back on my nipples to uh-huh. suck, I cannot even fathom. Yeah. Uh, no, thank you. So maybe just stick with the feather tickler thank for you. you I will have okay. the feather tickler. Yes. So no suckers for you. No. This. <laughs> what about? Nipple clamps. Absolutely. Oh, no. Absolutely. Ouch. See, now this is a weird one for me because I, without getting too. I mean, let's get personal, Lindsay. Let's get, Anne, my mother-in-law. Switch off. Uh, turn this off. When you're nearing yes. the end. Yeah, it's it can't like, be straight up. Uh, no, exactly. But that's like a good yes. twist, pull, tug, whatever. That's great. Hang on. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> let's go for a ride. I'm down with that. But these are clamps. That you clamp, like they pinch your nipple. Yeah. You leave them on for like, what does it say? 10 minutes, I think. Um, not for very long because oh. you can. 10 minutes already sounds like. Yeah, maybe long. it's five minutes. <laughs> Read the instructions. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, don't. But it's it. not for like a whole right. like session okay. type thing. And then when you take them off from the blood rushing back to your nipple, that is like, that brings on the orgasm. I keep looking at your nipples when I'm talking. <laughs> Because it's like right there. Do you mind? Oh, I'm so Feeling violating very you, violated, right? right? Yeah, it's fine, Billy. God, we're friends. <laughs> Jesus. I'd like to um, be more, but. Right, ew. Gross. She won't let me clamp her nipples. No, no. So. I've never heard of that strategy. Yeah. I don't mind nipple clamps in the in play and in all that sort of stuff. That's so you've fine. had a clamp on your nipple yes, before? Yes, of course. If you oh, haven't uh, had a clamp on your nipple, yeah, you no. have not lived. Oh, God. Girlfriend. Well, I am dead. You need to get onto some nipple no. clamps. They're amazing, but you need to get the right ones. And also, you can't use certain. But, lubricants because it slips right off but uh, not to sound like a f- like i don't fuddy know if this is, well i don't even know if this would be fuddy duddy ish i would prefer just cameron clamping on there with his mouth or hands yes I don't know but if I whilst clamp. no but the thing is that just yeah. frees him up to go f- do other stuff oh cameron's very talented he's he can multi how many hands does he have you know Two. <laughs> anyway cameron you should try and a mouth <laughs> And a penis. God, he is multi-talented. <laughs> oh God, no, this is too much I, about me. Look, yeah. you should try them. It's good. Okay. It's, yeah. you try oh. them. I don't know about the whole like 10 minute and then let the blood rush and then orgasm yes. like that. I haven't tried that. But like I said, I have a three day boat trip coming up. I will try it. So put it on the list. What have you done? You've just put them on for a little like yeah, just three seconds or something or for the whole session. 
Not for the whole session, but like for a portion of the session, right, you'll yeah. have it, yeah. you'll use them, it's right? Like you don't yeah. want your nipple to fall off. <laughs> no, <laughs> and also the ones that like we and most nipple yeah. clamps aren't like a set clamp if you know what I mean so you can adjust the, <gasps> the right. how hard it clamps on okay because also it needs to be able to like be flexible for different sizes and different things and stuff right right plus people also use them on I'm actually just trying the to find clitoris. a picture of it <gasps> no I no. do not like that stop you Stop. can fuck right off with that shit. That ouch. No. All I'm saying is they're versatile. Those are if the that's little, your thing. Those are the nipple suckers. Mm-mm. Sorry, I just totally no. interrupted you. No, I don't like them. Yeah. So what, they put the nipple clamp on their clit? On the clit, because what it is, is like, here's a diagram, you guys. No, I don't. This is a diagram of a nipple clamp. That's the Yeah, clamp. that's the nipple clamp, yes. So it's like a little prong like this, uh-huh. but then, hold my mind. This is a, a full please. diagram. Hold my mind, please. Uh-huh. But then there's a little like, ring down the bottom yes. so obviously you pull okay. it and it gets it looks like intercourse right there wow <laughs> you see what's happening here well, i feel very flushed give me my wine back <laughs> well anyway so i'm uh-huh. just saying you can adjust mm-hmm. the size uh, well which makes sense because everyone has different exactly, sizes yeah, exactly. of so i mean you don't have parts. to go okay. all out it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be like this mm-hmm. it can be like a little like this. you can you can adjust the size look um i get it i was just very like awakened to the whole thing that there was like nipple suckers and like get a little feather and all this yes. stuff. I, I'm obviously a prude in the bedroom. I had no idea. Well, listen, now that we've helped you, um, you and you mm-hmm. um, out mm-hmm. with not being such, pr- look, just be making you aware of all these different orgasms. I, know. I had no idea. There was a bunch there. The urethra really threw me um, <gasps> with its meaning and its use. Exactly. So that was a pretty interesting one. I'm really, um, I'd love to do a squirt once. I think I have done once, but I also think it's like it was a little bit of pee. I I think, but it's supposed to be, right? Dude, it's always a little bit of pee. So I was doing it right. Well, you or Henry, whoever was doing it, yes. We both did it right. You did it right. There you go. So there you go. Hooray. Um, Is there anything else on your list before we wrap it up? Look, yeah. um, Yes, but no, because it's just about men and it's boring. Um, Because they have a list too. I'm not going to go through them because a lot of them are the same, but they have 14 fuckers. They have 14 on their list. Well, I'm not even interested in the yeah, way men exactly. orgasm because to be honest, they can do it in a car, on the side of the street, upside down, whichever way. I don't even, like, you. your coming is not my concern. So with <laughs> wow. that said. Sorry, Henry. <laughs> he'll be right, okay? The up and down motion works just fine. I don't need 14, 13 other different ways, okay? Oh He's good. <laughs> Thank you so very much for joining us for this really very interesting episode of Wine Chats. Um, you can find us on our socials on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Uh, you can email us, winechatspodcast at gmail.com. Find our website, winechatspodcast.com. Rate, what else do we review, have? Subscribe, download, love, share, tag, comment, all of the above. Go do it now. Stop watching us. Go. Go. Uh, stop watching us on YouTube because we are also on YouTube. Yeah. I've got to say that. Um, so that's it. Um, Lenny, any parting squirts <laughs> no? okay. i'll bring my diagrams next week bill thank you okay okay chat soon <laughs>